As I mentioned in the previous training video, when you open up your network folder and you don't see anything in there that's blank, you don't see other computers or devices that are on the network, even though you have a wireless card or let's say you have one of those Ethernet cables that you plug into the network card that's on the back of your computer, doesn't necessarily mean that you automatically join the club and you have access to the network. You may need the help of the Windows 7 Network Connection Wizard. And there's a couple ways you can get to this wizard. The easiest way is to come up here if you have the network icon on your desktop and right click and then go down to properties and it takes you to the network and sharing center. Or come down here, click on the start button. Of course, if you have network here, you can right click on it, go to properties. But if you don't, then just go to, let me click off down below here, go to the control panel, come up here and click on view network status and task and it takes us to the network and sharing center again. You want to come down here to view your active network section. And if you're not currently connected to a network, you should have a link that says something like connect to network. Go ahead and click on it, and then you'll get a wizard or a window that opens up. That's called a wizard. Microsoft is famous for these wizards where it'll ask you a bunch of questions. You give it answers, and based upon those answers, it'll help you set up, and in this case, a network or connect to a network. Now before you connect to a network, you need to know that there are three different types of networks that you can set up or connect to. Mine's set up on the home network. If I just come up here and click on the link, it'll reveal the other two networks. So you've got three different types. You have home, work, and public. Public is the least secure. If you've got a home office, the home network. If you're at a place of business, large business, maybe they have it set up as the work network. So if it's already existing and you say home network, when everybody else is set up on the work network or connected to it, then you won't be able to see the other computers. So you may want to ask your network admin or go to another computer and find out, let me close out, to see if it's home, work, or public. Probably not public. In any case, click on it and the wizard will start. You can go ahead and change it. Or if this is the first time, go ahead and choose which one it is here. And if you do have a choice, I recommend the home network. Because new to Windows 7 is what's called the home group, and you want to watch my training videos on home group, basically you have your network, but the home group is a layer on top of the network that allows you to access other shared files much easier across the network through that home group. In any case, you want to watch that training video. So go ahead and select your option, and because I was already set up on the home network, it didn't have to set up anything, so I'll just go ahead and close out. Now if you want to go ahead and test this to see if your connection works and you can see other computers or devices on the network, then just come up here and click on the network icon. Should open up the folder and you've got the uh, other computers on the network and then the external storage device that's attached to the network. And then other media devices that are part of the computers on the network that can share music and videos and so on. Now if you look in here after you connected and it's still blank, you can't see anything, you don't see other computers or devices on the network, just make sure that you follow the steps and you connect it to the network because you still have one more setup and you want to watch my advanced share setting training video where there's a little option that you click to turn on network discovery so other computers may actually be on the network but they don't want to be discovered by you or anybody else so they turned it off and what that means is that if you can't discover other people they won't be able to discover you well it wouldn't be fair would it for you to hide yourself from being discovered on the network but you can see everybody else no. If you want to hide yourself, then you can't see anybody else. If you want to join the party, then everybody else should be able to see you. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.